Okay, hang on. Welcome to Little Garden on the Prairies. So today we're going to do a walk through my garden. It is about the third week in June and this garden is looking fantastic. We've had a little bit of rain here and there. I got my drip irrigation going on certain areas of my garden and as you can see everything is lush and green and growing really well. So if you've been following me on my channel, you'll know that I have set up some drip irrigation system here in my garden and it has been a game changer for me. It's cut my watering time pretty much in half, so that's great. So this is the setup I have here with the timer, filter, pressure regulator, connected into half inch tubing. And my quack grass is getting out of control here, but as you can see the Tubing runs to different zones in my garden. I've got a emitter system set up on my potatoes. I've got an emitter system on my containers here. And as you can see, those lettuces, carrots, beets are growing like crazy. I've been harvesting lettuce every couple days, been giving it away to friends and family. I got three types of carrots here. I've never had this kind of carrot growth before, so I'm really excited. And then we got three kinds of beets. So we got one little baby carrot here. These are the baby mochums. So we wash it up and eat it. Wait, I gotta wash it first, okay? Say, what's up, Doc? Eat. Nice. And over here with my tomatoes, peppers, I've got a drip system going with my half inch tubing here. Every time I set up a new zone, I put in a valve. So with that, I've set up these drip emitters to each of my tomato plants. You can get a good view of that here. And then down at the end, I've got some bubblers going. So you can see Henderson. So yeah, these little uh, bubblers work really good in the center of the container. They hit all the areas, get everything watered. So you can see I got some green onions coming up there. And then the peppers are getting a nice watering. For the tomatoes, I got the drip thing going. So you can see there, no. water goes right to the stem. Yeah. Then over here is where I got my soaker hose going, so that I got that connected to the well. And it is running through my lasagna garden here. So I kind of got it, so it's hitting everything. I've got a cantaloupe, watermelon, ground cherry going here and then all sorts of flowers herbs and perennials running through my lasagna garden so again this has been a huge time saver just turning on this drip system for about 20 minutes every couple days saves a lot of hand watering for me this here's all my garlic that I planted last fall I'm not seeing any scapes quite yet but pretty good crop coming here some of these are bulbs that I purchased and I think this row down here that's quite a bit smaller looking are bulbs that I saved from my crop last year that I replanted. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with what's coming up here now. So on this side here, I have cucumbers, some more tomatoes, some herbs. So in this area here, I'm just gonna get another drip irrigation going hopefully today. I've got my one inch, half inch tubing running to this area. I've got a valve put in here, so I'll just get another um, elbow going, run my half inch tubing down the center, and then run some drip emitters to each of the plants. So hopefully that'll get going today. So I still have some areas of my garden here that I just hand water with rainwater, potatoes, and check out these squashes. They are going crazy. I think it's time to do some pruning, maybe of some of these lower flowers. Get some airflow in there. They are looking good. 
These are the potatoes that Henderson and I planted under straw. They're in a just a light layer of dirt, maybe only an inch or so, and then the rest was straw, and they are coming through really well. I've also been hand watering these onions. I got Walla Walla's, uh, Yellow Globe, and Red, and they are going crazy. I feel like I need to thin them out a little bit, but do some spooning around them so that the bulbs really develop. I've never had such a great onion crop before. What do you see? You got some peas? Should we have a taste? Those are snap peas, so you get to eat the shell and everything, hey? They pretty good? So yeah, we got a variety of peas going here. We got some of the sugar snaps and some of the potted peas. And as you can see, Henderson has already found the ones that are ready to eat. So I have brewed up some comfrey tea. Be, be careful because this really stinks. Yuck. Yeah. So this has been steeping away for quite a while. So we're going to mix some of this into our water jugs with some rainwater. Give everything a drink. Do you want to help me? Yeah. Okay. So I did have some concerns about using well water because our well water is so alkali. And, but it's been what I've been using for my drip irrigation system here on my plants. And it doesn't seem to uh, make a difference because the things I've been watering with rainwater are doing well. And everything I'm doing through my drip irrigation with well water seems to be doing well. So I'm really happy with that. So the best part of this irrigation system is just giving me a lot more time to work on things like fertilizing and pruning. So this here is my original comfrey plant that I made my comfrey tea from. I chopped it right down and soaked it in water for the past month. And as you can see, it's gonna be blooming soon and this is gonna be a real attractor to pollinators. These comfrey plants are very prolific and very easy to propagate. As you can see, I've moved some of those from that original spot over here to the edge of my garden. They have really deep roots, so I was told that if you plant them around the edge of your garden, it would help to tear some of the other things like quack grass from creeping in, which is what I'm trying to do here. This is another view of my potatoes under straws. You can see they are doing really well. I've got emitter hoses that have drip emitters every 12 inches, I believe. So that's how I space these potatoes out and they are doing really good. And instead of hilling potatoes with dirt, just in the process of hauling in more pea straw and just piling it up around the potatoes here. I want to show you my wonderful invention I think I had here for a sandbox for my grandson. Using an old wheelbarrow full of sand. It's got a few holes in the bottom so it helps with drainage when he fills it up with water. But the great thing about this is it's portable. He can be right with me in the garden. I just wheel it over to the garden. Or if we're working around the house, we can just wheel it over there. Yeah. And also because yeah. you can stand up to it, it's a lot easier yeah. for me to, yeah. to play with them as yeah. well. Yeah. What? Yeah. You want to move it somewhere? Yeah. Where? Yeah. Over to the house? Yeah. Okay, we're not quite done working in the garden, but as soon as we're done, we'll move it back to the house. Up there? In the potato patch? There we go. 